Hello, it is Monday, November 7th, 2011 at 3.45 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I've heard from a couple different sources that um, people are attributing the flashes that show up on radar at the time of the earthquake in Oklahoma City, the 5.6 earthquake. They're attributing those flashes to birds and insects. And I wanted to show you how that cannot be true. Um, I'm here at Google Earth and I have gone in, here's Oklahoma right here, I've gone in and sh put a locator at the Doppler radar and at the location of the Earth, the 5.6 earthquake. And I'll show you how I determined where those points are. If you go to Wonder Map and push the animate button here and turn up the opacity you'll generally get a flashing light around the different Doppler stations um, this one of course is near Oklahoma Oklahoma City and then you simply zero into the center of that although it's not always so simple with Wonder Map because the flashes will move around on you but they'll, they'll come back <laughs> generally anyway. See it's got to settle down. Let me zoom out one more time so you can get the edges of those flashes. There we go. So the Doppler is going to be right in the center of, of that here. So think if I double click on this. All these work different how you want how do you get what you're trying to do. And I think I see it here. There it is. See the little ball? What you look for is the little circle and then you look for the little shadow. And you simply click on this and you click over here on link. And then you up in the address line it'll give you a longitude latitude number you just or, yeah, it's still there from last time there we go it has to redraw the screen so you just take those and you copy those onto your clipboard you go to Google Earth and you just go in here and you paste them in and you take out the extra words the and lon and equal sign make sure there's a space in between and leave the, the minus sign and then you just click on your magnifying glass and it'll take you right to that spot it's right here and I've gone in and, and took my little and made a little marker you click on this and it'll mark it for you let's see if I can drive this there it is and then you can take your little man and put him on the street see it too if you want to. I don't always steer so good here in Google Earth. But we'll see how we do. So there it is right there. That's pretty neat isn't it? Alright. Most of you probably already know how to do that. And so then to get my the coordinates for the Earthquake. Let me get back north, back up on top here. I went to the USGS. I went to the Real Time USA. Click on that. I'll show you all the earthquakes for the United States, and then you click on the area you want to go to, and then you want to click on the earthquake. Well, actually easier just to do list of earthquakes on this map and it'll give you all the different earthquakes that have happened and then you see the 5.6 here that's the one that was recorded in most cases where the flash shows up so you just copy those coordinates the lat and lawn you go to your Google Earth and you just paste those in and then you hit your magnifying glass It'll take you right there. 
again I already have it marked and so this is where that the epicenter of the earthquake was so zooming out you can see that where the Doppler radar is located and where the earthquake occurred is there is a somewhat of a distance between them right here is the outline of Oklahoma so you can see that this one's kind of see where the that little jig jag straight up there that's where the earthquake is so going back to what I recorded I have this is the recorder I use and I so I can go access frames and go frame by frame and we're looking at 352 and right here's the the three that are going to line up this is Oklahoma City this is Frederick Oklahoma and this is Tulsa and I'm going to click forward and there you go right at 356 three, these three light up and then go one forward more than one but there you go and you can see that the circle just got bigger now if these were a flock of birds you would think that they would flock out from the epicenter of the earthquake and so therefore they should show up on radar more over in here and then as time progressed I'm going to go back to where the flash is as time progressed they would move away from that epicenter not from the center of the Doppler and not just this Doppler but each of these Doppler radar, radar stations so going back see before there's nothing then all of a sudden there's that flash and then each circle just gets bigger and it's more intense at the center of the circle so that in order for that to happen it would mean that all the birds were sitting on top of the Doppler stations that's the only way you could have it you know all have it be at the center that it's the most intense and then fade away as you get away I've got a um, zoom here's a I cut and paste this is at 356 I cut and pasted that on my paint so that, that you could zoom in and see that you know the birds would be more up in here watch looking at that jiggy jaggy area that's up in here and so you know if the birds are flying away from that you would they would have to go this way but there's no nothing showing at that point it's only above the Doppler station I also went and looked at when I did the next rad radar you can see that um, on this one also this is at 353 the intense part is centered around the Doppler not because here you can see the roads and here's your jiggy jaggy thing again so it would be straight up it would be right in this area here and that's where the most intense area should be not around the Doppler station I also zoomed in on it so you could see yeah, here's our interstate here's an interstate and here's that one going this way so it, here's your jiggy jaggy so it would be right in here is where the earthquake happened it also looks like this is almost a line in here the, the most intense let me yeah, here's the little scale so the intent the most intense and someone said it's dense the mo the, the densest part is would be the pink the purple and the white and that is right here and again the earthquake happened right in here and I'll also click through this so you can see that was right afterwards that's at 403 and that's at going back to 353 also um, I ran into something tonight before I decided to do this and there's this wonderful video on 
Um, what's this called? V I M E O. Vimeo. And it's called Murmuration, and it's. I'll, I'll put a link for it, but it shows a f flock of birds just having a most wonderful time in the air, and um, and that's just for your enjoyment to see to see how birds can fly when the flock all moves together as one body. So I hope this helps clarify things for you, and I pray you have a good day tomorrow. God bless you, and good night.